Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on two quick and really easy Mother's Day gifts, or an anytime gift really. But um, since Mother's Day is Sunday, which I can't believe it's already Mother's Day, I feel like I just got done doing um, Christmas crafting. It's just time it just goes by so fast. But anyway, I came up with two quick and easy ones. If, you know, you need something last minute here. And I love these little pots from the Dollar Tree that already have like the jute already on top of them, if you can find those. If not, you can always put some jute around a flower pot. Um, I'm going to need one of these little floral foams for in the bottom of it. And I picked up these flowers at Michael's yesterday. I thought these were so pretty. Now these were $4, but they were 50% off. So I bought four of those, two with the yellow flowers and then two with the white. And I thought these were just so pretty. But by all means, you could get a potted, you know, flower or something and put in here um, if you wanted to, you know, fresh flower. Um, I kind of like these better because, you know, I can keep these all spring here into summer and um, not worry about them dying on me. And then I have these little buttons. I've had these for a long time. I used to make hair bows for little girls and things, and there's something under my nail. Let me get that. It looks awful. All right. Um, these are just little buttons. I think I got these at Walmart, and they have them, um, bags of these pretty, uh, little buttons at Michael's, too, that you can get. So I have a bag of these little ladybug buttons, and I have some of the little daisies and things that I got. These I know I got at Michael's, um, quite a long time ago, but I saw them there yesterday. They have all kinds of pretty little buttons that you can use to decorate things with. So I'm going to be using those, and then I picked up this pack of stickers. Now this was, I think this was $3.90 something I want to say, but it was marked down half price. And it's cute, it's silver, so it looks like you have a little bit of metal work on the outside of your flower pot. And I just thought that was so pretty. They had it in another color, I don't remember what it was. It might have been black, but I thought this would be pretty. But you could put any kind of stickers on here you wanted to, or you don't have to put any on at all. So first I'm going to take my little buttons. Now all I do with these is I cut off the little back piece so it'll be nice and flat. And you can just take a pair of scissors because they're just plastic and they pop right off. And then just to make sure that they don't, you know, come apart, you just want to put your hot glue <clears throat> right there where you cut it off. And then I'm just going to stick these around the edge of my flower pot. I'm going to use these, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to alternate and use my little daisies. I think these are just so pretty. And just the same thing, I'm just going to cut off the back, add a little bit of glue, and glue them right onto the pot. I thought that would be cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I just love ladybugs. So I'm just going to do a few of these here, and then I will do this off camera to save some time. I think I'm going to make them go in different directions. Yeah. All right, let's do, I have some smaller ones and some bigger ones, so I'll use a smaller daisy on this one. And you could measure if you want to. I'm not. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Aren't they cute? Look at that. Alright, so let me finish. I'm just going to cut the rest of them off and glue them around, and then we'll come back and put on our stickers. Alright, I got them all the way around here. Aren't they cute? I think that's just so sweet. So now we're just going to take our stickers. I already took one off here. I just wanted to make sure that it would stick good to the this, and it really does. And what I did was I wiped it all down with alcohol. If you don't have alcohol, you can use like Windex or something just to make sure there's no oils left on it because sometimes these galvanized things can be, you know, have a little oils left on them. So these are really pretty. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put these all on here, but I'm going to start out here with the biggest one. Sorry for the crinkles. Let's see, we're going to put this right on the front here. I 
And these stick really nice. I was afraid maybe, you know, it was more like, you know, your regular stickers, but they don't. But it's really on there. I think that's going to look so pretty. Alright, let's see. The other biggest one here on the sides. And then we can just kind of fill it in. around here again today. It's Monday and like I said everybody around here has a different garbage company. It's crazy and it's just really loud on a Monday. There's just constant trucks going down the road. I liked where we used to live. You know everybody pretty much had the same garbage company. It was like a town thing but out here you kind of pick and choose whoever you want and just seems like everybody has a different one. All right, now we just have a bunch of these little ones left here that we can put wherever. Put those there. Ah, let's see. Oh, I like this a lot. I think these are so pretty. Put one of these down here. Let's see. Where do I need some more bigger ones? And you don't even have to put these many on if you don't. I don't know. This one might be a little bit too big. All right. Let's not put that one on right now. Just stick that in there. And there goes another garbage truck. Oh, that's recycling. All right. this bigger one now. Sorry, I'm concentrating here. I'm not talking. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to leave that. I may put the rest of them on later, but that can wait. And then all I need to do is take your little um, floral foam. I actually have one here that I'd used for something else. I'm just going to add a little glue to it to hold it in place on the bottom. I really don't know if that's going to be necessary or not, but I'm just going to glue this little baby right down in there. And we're just going to stick in our flowers. And these will all, you know, you can stretch these all around and make them pretty after you get them in here. a lot of time with this just to give you an idea because I'll straighten them all out later and give you a good picture of them, or a good shot of them rather, when we're all done. But I just love these flowers. I think these are so pretty. I think I need something taller here in the center though. We'll see. But anyway, what a cute little idea. Look at that. I would love to get something like that for Mother's Day. And I am because I'm keeping this one. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the first one. The second one, I picked up a bunch of these frames at Michael's when I was there yesterday. And these are all wooden frames, and they're only 99 cents. I was really surprised. And they all come with a little stick that you can put in here, you know, to stand it up. 
and they had this style. They had a fancier style. I love this one I want to do something with. It has just the clip on it to hold a picture. And um, yeah, they all come with that little stick to hold them up. But the one I'm going to do today, and I'm going to use some stickers again. This one was like this with the heart shape. And, you know, it came with a little stick. So I just took a little bit of paint. Um, I just mixed, I used a lot of white and just put a little bit of pink in here just to uh, color the back and stuff. And if you want, you can really sand it down really good too because I did around the heart, the outside of the heart part. Um, and I just mixed it in and made just like this real pale pink color. And I just painted in here and the edges in the back. And of course, the little stick. So, for this one, I'm going to take some of this paper. I love this paper at Michael's. This one I found is a pink, it's called Pink Wood Planks. And I thought this one was so pretty. And I'm going to cut that out to fit on the top. I already traced it out on the back here where I want it. And then I'm going to use some of these stickers. I thought these were so pretty. Just to make this a quick, easy project, I mean, you don't have to use stickers. You could actually even just paint these if you wanted to, but for the quick version, we're going to use stickers. And what was nice is they had the same kind of stickers, and but they had them for, like, uh, grandmas and everything else for the uh, Mother's Day. So I thought those were really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out that piece of paper, and then we'll come back and glue that on. Okay. Here it is. I cut out this piece of paper and then this is going to go on right here like this. And look how cute that is. I just love this paper from Michaels. So I'm actually going to start over on this side and I usually just do a small section at a time with my glue. And I'm just going to be using some of the tacky glue. You can get this at Walmart, you can get it at Michaels, you can get it pretty much anywhere. And I'm just going to put a line of that here and we're just going to start on this side of the heart. Just gonna spread this out. I love these brushes. These are from the Dollar Tree too, and these are just this really stiff like nylon brushes. These are great for working with glue and stuff. And you kind of got to work quick here. That's why I'm just gonna do a small section at a time. Just go halfway through the heart there. All right. So now I just want to get this lined up here on our heart. Pretty good. It's a little bit crooked. I don't want that to be crooked. Alright. So I think that looks pretty good. So we're just going to put some more glue on here. And like I said, I just like to do a little at a time. That way you don't end up with any bubbles or you know, if you do the whole thing and try to get it on, you end up with the bubbles you're trying to get out and everything. So if you just do it a little at a time, and it still goes pretty quick. It doesn't take long. But you get to smooth it out nice and even. Patience is patience is is the best thing here for this kind of stuff. I always say that with spray painting too. You got to do it thin coats, layer by layer, and just be patient so you don't end up with all your runs. And with this, you just want to make sure you get it on the edges really good so none of your edges pop up. All right. And that's that off my glue thing here before I glue it shut. I love this tacky glue. It's great. It's nice and thick and it dries real quick and it, you know, has that instant kind of grab to it. All right. Oh, did I get a bubble by my heart? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to stop messing with it here now. Just make sure I have it all pressed down good. 
and that is it. That's all you have to do for this part. And then the only thing left to do with this is just to grab our stickers. And these also, by the way, these don't have glass in them. So when you put your picture in, it's just the picture. It doesn't have, have any glass. I think I want to put the mom sticker down here on the whoops on the bottom. It just fits better here. And they have tons of other stickers too. If you don't care for these, I just like these because I thought they were very springy. <coughs> And then you can just stick a couple of these cute little tags on here. It says, you inspire me. And this one says, I love my. And we'll put that down here next to mom. And then we're just going to stick some flowers on here. stickers. You definitely do not have to stick all these stickers on here, but I think they're so cute. Mm, I don't think I want that on there. I might just put this one on here. There you go. And we'll save that one for maybe a card. And now, what do I do with the little picture? Oh no, where'd it go? Just had it here. Oh, oh, here it is. Actually, I'm just gonna, for now, this is just the picture that came with the frame. I'm just gonna stick that back in there for now because I don't have another picture in here cut out yet. But you know, you could put a picture in here for the kid's grandmother. Um, you know, for the mom, whatever. And that's all you do is just put the picture in. And then we need our little stick. And if you want, you can glue that in, but you don't have to. And there you go. Isn't that cute? I think that's so sweet. I like these stickers. I mean, you, I mean if you wanted to find more of like countryish looking stickers to go with the wood, but I just thought that really looked really springy. So let me clean this mess up. I'll set these two things up. Um, great gift to give together, too. I think it's going to look really cute together. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, here they are out here on my shelf. I wish the sun would come back. Of course, it was out all morning until I wanted to do this. It's a little dark in here, but I think it's bright enough to see good. Um, I think these look adorable sitting next to each other. And I have my little wood heart up here that I made. I think it was last week I did a video, or two weeks ago I did a video on that. I think that looks so cute with it too. But aren't they cute? Look at the little ladybugs. So that is it. That is all for my little quick and easy Mother's Day gifts. And I hope you guys enjoyed these, this video, and I will see you all next time. Uh, hi, and say hi to Rosie. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Hello. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. All right. Say goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye. Yeah? Say goodbye? Yeah, okay. There you go.